God is discipline. God is often misinterpreted. He's always interpreted as he's just love, but he's more than that. God is discipline, and in this video, you're gonna understand why, or at least I hope so. You're gonna understand why when you're experiencing hardship, when you are needing discipline, why those moments are the moments where you are the closest to God, where you act through God, where God acts through you and you act together and you achieve greatness together for you. Those are the moments that make God a proud and happy father. First of all, I'm the caveman experience. I specialize in male mental health and biohacking. And today you're gonna to understand why God is discipline. God is love is a quote that is from Father Spin Spir Spiritum or however his name is. And there I've heard it first. And I thought, yeah, God is love, sure. But just yesterday I realized that God is way more. That God is discipline. Because if you think about it, discipline is the only way to true freedom. And it's also the strongest form of love. I'm gonna to explain to you why. Discipline is the only route to real freedom because think about climbing Mount Everest. If you can't climb Mount Everest, you are an undisciplined person. That's just how it is. You can say, oh, but I'm disciplined in every single other field. If you can't climb Mount Everest, metaphorically, if you can't do a challenge that's way too big to you, for you, that seems like a mountain in front of you, towering you. If you can't say, I'm gonna face this challenge now and I'm gonna destroy it, then you are an undisciplined person in my eyes. And if you are undisciplined, if you say, I can't do this, what are you then? Are you free if you say, I can't do this? I can't leave the prison. You are a locked up man. You are not free if you're not disciplined. I can do whatever I want to because I am disciplined. I can say, I want to bench twice my body weight in two years I, I could do that if my bench weight mattered to me that much I could do it I could say I'm gonna train specifically so my bench press increases so the weight that I can bench press that I can push off my chest gets bigger I don't need to because numbers don't matter that much to me but if I wanted to I could because I'm a disciplined person this makes me a free and happy man. Discipline is freedom. Is a quote by Joko Willink, and if you think about it, it, it it's 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 true. Because the only thing that will give you true freedom and true resilience is is discipline. It's discipline, it's the bottom line answer. What do you need for success? Discipline. Every single successful person that became successful through a business or through something else that didn't involve stupid luck like the lottery will tell you at some point about discipline. Why? Because you need discipline to become free. So discipline is freedom and God is freedom. So that's the first reason why God is discipline. The second reason why God is discipline is because discipline is love and because discipline is the strongest form of love. Discipline equals self-love. Think about this. Your future self is a different person than you are. Your future self has more knowledge, more progress behind him, more goals achieved. It's a different person. 
person and you for that person to be great to lift that person up imagine you lifting a child up imagine lifting your creative creation up which ultimately is your future self lifting it up and what does lifting something up require all the gym guys right now will scream it requires strength and yes it does imagine lifting it up every single day what would that take then what what is strength over a long period discipline think about this you're lifting a, a child up for a whole day you're holding it up there that takes strength and discipline because your because your front delts will hurt your arms will hurt it's like like 10 kg like holding 10 kg over your head and it grows up within a day and the next day you will be in the position that child is in and you'll do it again and again and again that's what discipline is discipline is loving that child is loving your future self and accepting the pain that you take so that person can grow that's the definition of love for me accepting the pain that you take so that person can live a happy life your parents do this a happy good relationship accepts some pain so the other person can grow this is love Jesus accepted the pain of hanging on the cross. How, 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 how fucking painful do you think it is to have nails through your hands and hanging on the cross for three days and dying there, starving, bleeding. But he accepted this out of love for us. You every single day, if you are disciplined, accept the pain of the gym, of meditation and of self-improvement in general. You accept the pain that you can't go out, that you can't drink alcohol, that you can't jerk off, that you cannot watch porn, that you can't be a spurk, that you can't be a weak man. You accept that pain so your future self can live a greater and greater life. So you love your future self. You love God loves. God is discipline. Discipline is the only way to freedom and the best way to love. I hope you understand this because this will not only help you to, to know God better, but this will also help you that in, in situations of doubt, in situations of pain, in situations of hardship, when your girlfriend just broke up with you, you won't think, Father, have you left me now? Like Jesus thought on the cross. You won't think that. You will know that God is closer than ever. You will be happy about that hardship. You will be happy because you will be closer to your Father, to your Creator. Discipline is an act that God performs through you. That God, where, where God uses you to make the world better and to help your brother out. Do you think it doesn't take discipline to walk up this mountain every single day to film a video for you? Of course it does. But I'm a disciplined person because I want to help you. I don't see a camera in front of me right now. I see you in front of me, however you may look. I see a small guy who's weak, who's weak right now, but who wants to grow strong in front of me right now. And I'm talking to that guy. I want you to grow. This is why I tell you this. This is why I don't want you to feel alone in hardship. This is why I tell you that at hardship, God will be the closest to you as you will ever be. You can journal about this. You can think about this. But this won't do anything if you don't act on it. Get closer to your father today. Embrace the hardship. Em embrace the pain. Get close to pain because God is discipline and 
in pain your discipline grows so god grows within you if you get more disciplined i just journaled about this this morning in my deep journal book and i noticed that in the bible it often says who works hard will go to heaven and who's poor will go to heaven but the guy who is full of pleasure in his life and who lives a life for the life and not for god will go to hell i believe that heaven and hell aren't places but mindsets i think that hell stands for regret and the pain of that and heaven stands for pride and the good feeling of that i think that heaven is delaying the gratification living a life for god means living a life for discipline and living a life for your tomorrow self living a life for after action and not for the action not for life not for today but for tomorrow for after life you see if you keep delaying gratification eventually you will become your future self this also works for for not delaying gratification and instant gratification you will become your future self don't don't go like oh but maybe i get hit by a bus tomorrow so i should really enjoy today no shut the fuck up you won't get hit by a bus hopefully i hope that you don't get hit by a bus in the movie 300 leonidas says to ephialtes um i hope that you live forever because ephialtes took the took the instant gratification route he betrayed the spartans he went to the king saxus and he betrayed them he took the instant gratification route he wanted the love he wanted the pleasure right now and not in the future he didn't want the pride he wanted the pleasure and leonidas knew of the concept of delayed gratification he knew it and he knew that if if you test lived forever then he will experience the pain of delayed gratification of instant gratification i'm sorry so he wished him i wish you an eternal life i wish that you will live forever and that and this is why Ephialtes cried when Leonidas said that embrace the pain embrace the discomfort embrace the discipline embrace your tomorrow self love it so much that you're willing to give up everything every pleasure that your brother might have today so your future self can be held up there and so you can rise one step every single day so you eventually hit your ceiling so you eventually meet your creator pain is the road to discipline if you experience pain for long enough you will get into pressure and if you experience pressure for long enough and if you have the right mindset which god will give you then you will become disciplined and then you will get closer to god because god is discipline heaven is pride hell is regret regret is eternal but pride also is you need to choose every single day jordan belfort once said you need to take the bitter pill every single day so one day it will end up tasting sweet you need to take the bitter pill every single day for it to end up being sweet go full in don't go halfway in halfway out go full in 
Don't take the mild pill. Take the full on bitter pill today and tomorrow. And for three, four, five, six months, be disciplined, get closer to God. And one day the pill will end up being sweet. Delay the gratification. Because God is discipline. Your father doesn't let you down when you fail. Your father doesn't let you down when you when you want to quit. He doesn't let you down when you get faced with challenges. He picks you up. He's closer to you now. Appreciate hardship, appreciate pain, because it all leads to discipline if you make the right choices. And discipline leads to God, because God is discipline.